I have seen a lot of talk around romantic relationships on social media, however, I haven't seen too much about friendships and how important they are and the fact that they are the root of a healthy romantic relationship. That also got me thinking about the meaning of platonic love and how this relates to friendships. Platonic love is a concept that was introduced by ancient Greek philosopher Plato in his work uh, The Symposium. It is a form of love between two people that doesn't involve physical attraction or romantic feelings. It is based on intimacy and mutual appreciation of each other's personality traits, intellect, virtues, and ideas. At this point, it's also crucial to understand that intimacy has nothing to do with sexuality. Intimacy is the feeling of closeness and connection with another person, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic thing. It is possible for platonic love to evolve into romantic love, but of course it's not necessary. I think that platonic love is a really pure type of love that can be experienced with a true friend. It is what we normally call I love you as a person. I find that this sort of love is really noble in nature because it is a conscious choice based on appreciation and it is not really affected by physicality or any other motives. I find that when connections are based just on physical attraction or uh, infatuation, they are really superficial and unconscious in nature. And this is because we are kind of like utilizing our instincts and not our intellect or logic. If the connection of two people is based on platonic love from the beginning, I find that the foundation of any relationship that might occur is going to be strong. For example, if it ends up to be a friendship, it's going to be a strong friendship. Or if it ends up being a romantic relationship, the foundation is still going to be strong. And also platonic love is not lost after, let's say, you break up with somebody or you stop talking to somebody. Considering all this and the importance that friendship holds and how sacred it is, I think that we need to be really careful about the friends that we allow in our life. We are the average of the five people we spend most of our time with. In the past, I used to assume that anyone who is nice to me qualifies as my friend, but that's really not true. I wasn't taking into account the motives. For example, yes, some people do have good intentions for you, but most of them, they're trying to benefit in some way. And because I was never thinking like that, to benefit from someone, I would never think that that's possible from people. So, you know, I used to just allow everybody in. It is really important to discern between these two types of people and to also trust our gut around them. That's also why it's so important to develop our intuitive abilities and to listen to them. In the next video, I will be talking about the qualities we need to be looking for in friends.